pseudoscientists. I'm Professor Bill Tyson, and together we're gonna know different forms of science. We've talked about two properties of matter, mass and volume. Today, we're gonna talk about another property called density, which refers to the amount of matter that fits in a certain volume. It sounds a bit strange, but I'll explain how it works. Density means how close the molecules are in a space. So, as much closer the molecules get, higher the density gets. As much farther they get, lower the density gets. Let's see an example. If we take 1 kilogram of cotton and 1 kilogram of lead, you realize that we need a lot more cotton to get 1 kilogram than lead. This is because the lead molecules are much closer to each other. To measure the density of a substance, we use a mass measure, usually the gram, and the measure of volume, cubic centimeters. A cubic centimeter is like a had a little box. One centimeter wide, one centimeter high, and one centimeter deep. For example, water has one gram per cubic centimeter, which means that one gram of water occupies one cubic centimeter. This is the density of water. Yet the density of the lead is 11.3 grams per cubic centimeter. So, within a cubic centimeter, there are more than 11 grams of lead. Whoa! Lead is much denser than water. That's why if I put this lead cube in this glass with water, it sinks due to its density. That's it for now. See you next time! What about making science education reach more kids? Subscribe, share this video, and become my patron!